Have you fantasized about a tropical vacation? Come on, we all have. But as I found out, planning one takes work. Here's what I learned about planning our trip to Maui in February. Book through Costco. We were able to bundle our airfare, our hotel, and our rental car all through Costco. And getting a rental car on the islands is not easy, but it's doable through Costco. Another piece of advice I have is buy a travel book. I don't know if you can see this. This is Maui Revealed. Sorry, I can't really see that. I use this book to book to book our reservations and our excursions and uh, to book our restaurants, I mean. Speaking of restaurants, I don't know if this is a Maui thing and it's exacerbated by COVID, but I tried booking our dinner reservations three weeks before our trip and two of the places that I wanted to go were already fully booked. So I spent a whole Saturday basically looking through this book and then booking, looking online to see what restaurants were available. I was able to book all of our dinners except for one night. And that night we went to a place called Monkey Pod and we planned and got there early and we only had to wait like 15 minutes. So besides food, I also looked at this to book our activities. And the first day we went whale watching. Turns out this time of year is humpback season in Maui. That's because the water, waters between Maui, Lanai, and Molokai are only 350 feet deep, perfect for humpbacks to breed and have babies. The next day, we went on a glass bottom kayak, which sounds cool, but it ended up being scratched and you couldn't see through it. So I wouldn't recommend it, but the guides for that were amazing. And guess what? We saw humpbacks. So we kayaked over and we stayed at the respectful 100 feet away. We didn't get any closer. But when you're in a tiny kayak next to a huge humpback, 100 feet doesn't seem that far. <laughs> <laughs> so also using this book, I booked uh, a dinner cruise, which this recommended as the best one. And it was, it's called Hula Girl. It was fantastic. And got, we also saw whale watchings from our dinner cruise. And one day, I'm gonna try to see if I can share my screen here. One day we also went to what's called, and if I'm pronouncing it right, Eo Valley. And if you can see my screen, this is the Eo Valley right there. Uh, let's see. Ah. I was gonna try to show you more stuff, hold on. Okay, well, anyways, the whales were the best part of this trip. Uh, if you guys ever need an itinerary to go to Hawaii, please let me know. I will hook you up. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster.